night. It is the second night of Halloween Horror Nights. We didn't go opening night because we figured it was really crazy. Um, but we're here and I'm excited. We love Halloween, so we're gonna go in. We're gonna try some of the houses. I need to pick up some Halloween attire because I'm not looking as spooky as Taylor. Like, look at this. Looking very spooky. So we're gonna go in and see what there is to see. done a vlog at Halloween Horror Nights. We're going in. We're doing this. I want to give you guys a quick heads up. There may be some gory stuff in this, stuff that you wouldn't normally see at a theme park. So if you're squirmish to that, you may not want to watch some of this. Okay, this is so cool. I don't know if you're going to see it, but there's a ton of lightning and it adds to the ambiance of the night. Ooh. Somebody is gonna jump out at me. Ooh! Look at this one. Oh boy! <laughs> this is a scare zone. Oh, they got you! Look at how cool this looks. We got our carnival games up. Spirit of the Coven is 45 minutes. I don't know which house we're gonna do first. Unfortunately, we can't take you in the houses, but we will let you know what we think of them after. So we are heading down by the tribute store. I think we're gonna run in and grab me a shirt. But look how, look how cool this is. So we kind of have put two and two together, and maybe we're late on this, but the tribute store makes sense because this is supposed to be like a fun fair and this is the ride. Oh, okay, didn't, didn't see you there. Didn't see you coming there. Did you just spill some of your drink? Oh. So we're in the tribute store and I have my Halloween shirt I'm gonna get but also I didn't realize until I texted my friend Jeff he's in the tribute store sorry you died Jeff all right so we've done costume changes we have Halloween shirts on and we are officially ready to go into some houses I love this area it's so cool shouldn't be eating feet. Okay. Ah! Oh, good lord, I'm leaving. Oh, hello, Mr. Pumpkin. Got a good point. Look up in this window. Oh wow, okay. That's that's gory. Look at this clown. How cool is the clown? They blend in so well and then they just scare you. Oh my gosh, it's Catwoman! What happened here? It's like a bit of an accident. Oh no, you crashed the tent. 
How could you do that? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the biggest Halloween celebration we have ever put on. That is largely due to the partnership between our mayor and our new benefactor, Candy Mogul Major Sweets. Hey, kid. Hey, kid. Get off that float. Put that knife down. What is happening? So much blood. Back up. your weapons of choice when the purge happens. Oh, oh, you did it. Okay. So the cowboy that went over there was telling us that he did this. How nice of him. So we're stopping here. We're a little bit hungry. I think we may get something to eat. Let's see what they have. You know we love food. So here's one of your booths here. Pocket in a sense, which yeah. is like really cool. And then we have like a bio bun, pumpkin with pumpkin filling, and then we have a cake pop. And I think this is like a deep fried, like coffin. Yeah, and here's your alcoholic beverages. Oh, yeah, so that, that's the cake pop. That cake pop looks really cool. We might have to get that later. Yeah. Now look at the drink. There's some more treats that we have. I love these booths. So those are called the French fries and rat tails. So the French fries and crab dip and scallions and some seasoning. Ah, uh, your twisted taters. So you have the classic twisted taters that we all love. We have potato blood and guts. We have pussy fiery twisted taters with queso. I don't know what to get. I can only buy these two taters, so I never really had it with queso yet. So we got one of the twisted taters. This is the one with queso, ghost pepper seasoning, and flaming hot Cheetos. This looks incredible. I am so ready to dig in. Go for it. It's all you. Not as spicy as I thought it was going to be, but I also, mind you, I handle spice a lot better than most people. But like, Maybe I should be the tester for that then. I love it. It's definitely got a little bit of a spice to it, but it's not bad. I like that. That's good. Twisted taters are always so good. Okay, so I wanted to give a quick update on the twisted tater. The heat definitely comes with with every bite you take. So like the more Thai you let marinate, it, it's a kickin'. Yeah, it's it's spicy, but it's good. It's spicy, beware. So good. All right, first. House of the night. We're gonna go wait in line for Halloween. Can't take you in there, but we'll let you know how we think of it after. All right, here we go. Halloween. Okay, so we're gonna do these reviews out here because it's super loud inside. The Halloween house was incredible. It was. I think there was a lot of Easter eggs. I'm gonna have to go through it again. I think there's a lot of Easter eggs from the movie. There was. The ending. I don't want to spoil it. Was absolutely insane. It was so trippy. Very, very trippy. Um, I would say, honestly, if I had to get a, like a, at a 10 rating, I would give it, honestly, a solid 7 out of 10. I'd probably give it a 7 or an 8. I liked it. I don't know how well you can hear us. I'm like, my voice is like shot from screaming because sometimes the music is so loud. Hey, are we going to go into this scare zone or do you want to go down here? Uh, right? Taylor says we're going this way. <laughs> Apparently, this has some of the best food here. Okay, here we go. Oh, good lord. I'm like shaking the camera.
trust no one. This is definitely a di different atmosphere. I knew it, I knew it. I don't know how much you guys can see. Some of this I can't even see a whole lot. Oh. Some of this you just see shadows and figures and silhouettes walking by. Oh, this is so creepy. options here, the mummy's tablet cookie. Are they garlic, Philly, cheese, hot steak? Dad joke. We're heading over to the good guy treats, or really tricks, from Chucky. Let's go, bro. Let's see what they have. It's spicy. Ooh. Is it good though? You know, I was gonna do the good guy burger, but the jalapenos I'm a little nervous about. Let's see. Beignet looks good. There's some shenanigans in Springfield. Somebody running around with a chainsaw. That's not good. I don't like this. Well, yeah, they're real chainsaws. They just don't have the chain. No, I know. I just know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird and psycho, but I just, the smell of it, something just smells good to me. I don't want to oh! God, I hate Halloween Horror Nights, but I love it. She really did. That's the worst time where, like, you don't see it. That's what I was saying earlier. They, like, they blend in, and then they just come out of nowhere. So we're doing a whole lap here, kind of, walking into London, if you will. Here we go. Shall cast 
We are right by the Richter Burger Co. And at this food truck here, we got the burnt offering. So I think we're actually gonna go inside and eat this. We need to cool down a little bit. It work? Uh -huh. So this is the burnt offering here. We came inside Richter. This is a little hot and humid outside. Check this out. They're very, they're not hollow inside. They're not like Belvedere shells. They're really solid. I don't know how to describe it. Very juicy. Yeah. Flavor's good. Yeah. Well, she's gonna do both. Hey, Mal, we're gonna catch a little bit of the water show. did Coven. That one was, I don't really know the story behind it. There were a lot of good jump scares in that one. I there really liked that one. There was a lot of good jump scares. That one, I think, had the most jump scares. Yeah, so I mean, honestly, I think for me, I'll give it a solid six. I was really confused with it, but I'm still gonna give it a seven because the jump scares were good. They were so good. So we just got out of the Coven Haunted House. I really liked it. Um, really good jump scares there. We are gonna hit one last scare zone before the end of the night. So let's go see that. Am I the only one that thinks it's really weird that we have all this Halloween stuff up? And then there's a Christmas tree up because that's the Christmas store. The world famous Mel's Dying is back. It's good to see it. It's such a clever thing. Like whoever came up with this, major hat tip. You know it's not a universal video without me adding a little bit of Jurassic, so. There you go. I think this is like a, it's supposed to be a cemetery, right? Because that's what we saw earlier for the props. Someone's gonna jump out at me. I don't like it. Ooh. dark and there's just a bunch of blue light and they're just kind of wandering around and they might jump out at you they might not oh that's creepy oh i want to go home this is not okay i think it like the blue got me. They got me so good, but I wasn't filming. The jumping that I did was just basically me like flailing my arms like an idiot. We stopped in the main Universal store and check out this display they put up with this purse. How cool is this? They also have ornaments here and on the back of them, it looks like they can be clear. So you can put like a Christmas tree light behind them and it'll glow. Is it just me or does that slightly look like Mr. Toad? How cool are these masks? This hearse is so cool. Okay, so we didn't say that we were going, we didn't show a shot of us going into this one. We did the Hellblock Horror, which was like a prison. 
and but like in the multiverse like think of spider-man no way home but like universal monsters yeah like exactly what so we were told like yeah the team member basically explained it that this is a prison the multiverse has been opened essentially and any creature that you could think of so like mummy dracula aliens anything like that they're all, all there they haven't been fed and it seems and they're like hungry. yeah they're hungry it seems like there was a breakout and they're, they're yes, coming they're after you so that yeah. one i think was my favorite so the, out of the ending was great too once again like the, the endings of these houses i know they've been pulling some like major strength like it was awesome yeah i would say Scared. i would say that one was like an eight for me that was probably a nine for me i don't know what a 10 would look like i guess we only did three houses so i would say my ranking is going to be the hell house the prison one is going to be number one number two is going to be halloween and three will be coven I agree. Uh, same thing. Same? Okay. Yeah, same thing. It was great. All right. Well, that's going to do it. We will be back. We have Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party on Monday. Monday so look for that one. I know. Bye, guys.